first get the gun, you're going to want to take this plastic off of the needle. So the first thing you'll probably notice is this green substance all over the gun. My most asked question is what it is. Um, the gun actually does come pre-oiled to prevent rusting. What I tell people is to just get a paper towel and just clean the gun. The gun is ready to use right out of the box and it does come with the cut pile head pre-installed. The only thing you have to do is adjust this yarn holder and I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to lay my tufting gun on its right side and take the bigger Allen wrench and put it in this screw right here and loosen it just a little bit. Lift that yarn holder about that high. Put that same Allen wrench back in and tighten it and there you go if you want this uh, yarn holder is adjustable so you can you know move it back to the center if that's where you want it so now that we've unboxed our gun cleaned off the oil adjusted the yarn holder i'm going to quickly show you how to use it and how to take care of it first you'll notice the swivel arm in front of the gun this is to help you make curves and change directions when tufting a rug the second thing you'll notice is the fabric guard. This prevents the needle from pushing too far into the fabric. It will come a bit off-centered, but trust me, that's how it should be so the gun doesn't jam. The next thing you'll notice is the two arms located on both sides of the gun. This is what drives the needle and cutting head through the fabric. Lastly is a trigger guard, which pulls back when you press the trigger. The gun also comes with an auto lock button. You can turn it on by holding the trigger, pressing the button, and letting go. To turn it off, just press the trigger one more time. Before I begin tufting, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to set up your gun. You're going to take a threader and stick it through the eye of the needle, and then get your yarn and put it through the yarn holder and under the guard. Once it's under the guard, you're going to stick it inside of that threader. And after that, you're going to pull the threader down and your yarn should be through the eye of the needle. As you can see, I'm firmly pressing my gun against the cloth and just making a really quick line. Um, I'll also show you how I do a half circle with my left hand. I hold that swivel arm and with my right hand, I turn the gun. Now I'm going to go back in really quick and do another line next to the first line that I made. This will make my line thicker. This is what it should look like from the other side of your monk's cloth. After you finish tufting, your gun will most likely be covered in yarn residue or lint, so it's really important that you take a little brush and you clean your gun really, really well. Make sure to get in all those cracks and get all that lint out. Once you're done brushing off your gun, you can oil it using a sewing machine oil like this one. It's important you only oil your machine once every three months. Too much oil can cause lint buildup in the gun. Remember, it comes pre-oiled, so you probably won't have to do this for several months. After I oil the machine, I plug it in and run it for a little bit, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you still have any questions or concerns, you can definitely leave them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video.